Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a vlog type video this week because I wanna change this UPS on my main gaming slash mining computer because uh, now that I'm doing mining on this computer, this UPS no longer cuts it. And this UPS here is a CyberPower 1500. It's pretty good UPS, but you know what? It's 10 to 15 years old and it just doesn't cut it anymore. And I usually vacuum this every week so you can see it's a dusty boy but uh, let's start changing it over and see what happens. So here you can see that we've got the mining happening. There's two Ethereum mining happening on the GPUs. Plus we have Monero happening, happening? No, Monero mining on the CPU. And according to the software, we're pulling roughly 660 watts. And that's perfectly within the limit of this UPS because this UPS is a 900 watt UPS. But whenever the power goes out, it just makes a beeping sound and the red light remains on. I think that means overload. I mean, it's a 10 to 15 year old UPS, so I think it's served its purpose. It's now just time for something newer, something better. Hey, woman, girl, can you unplug it, please? Yeah, so there you go. You see there's a red light and the computer shut off. So it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Here's the new UPS we picked up. It's another CyberPower. This is technically the newer version of the one I already have. So we can see it's got a nice LCD display there. And this one is also 1500 VA, 900 watts. I got this off of Amazon. I'll give you a link in the video description. It was really between this and a similar model by APC, but the APC had a lot of bad reviews. It seemed like the quality is going downhill. And like I said, my CyberPower, was working great for 10 or 15 years. So I think I'll give them another shot. Let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll install it and we'll resume the video. and the installation is complete. We also dusted our front screen. And the really cool thing about this is the display turns off after a little while. So we push it again, it'll turn back on and we can see it's pulling 684 watts. And we can actually cycle through different uh, menus here or different uh, outputs. So that's really cool. So let's go back to the wattage. And then after a couple of minutes, that display will turn off. And the other really good thing about this uh, UPS, it's got a lot more output, so actual plug holes, than the old one does. Because I do have the 3D printer connected to this as well. In case the power goes out, the 3D printer will continue printing as well. Okay, so moment of truth. We have it mining, so it's pulling 684. We're going to unplug it and then see what happens. So woman, girl, can you unplug without uh, electrocuting yourself? Please. Awesome, so right now the computer is still on, it's still mining. So it tells me five minutes, let's push mute. So five, six minutes, it'll go ahead and control, or I guess back up the computer. And the battery's not full yet, we just plugged it in. So it needs to charge anyway, but we can see right now over here, it's mining away. Oh, plug it back in please. Plug it back in. Thank you. Perfect. So this was successful because really that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be able to cover those very momentary uh, power outages that we sometimes get here. So there we go. This is the CyberPower 1500, 900 watts, and looks like no problem. It's supporting our computer. Just for fun, we got the old CyberPower UPS plugged into our Alienware. And let's see if this has enough power to support just the one GPU and CPU mining that's happening in this Alienware. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unplug. Nope, same issue. 
Well, that's too bad.